Microsoft has really raised the bar with Florence 2 large model. We did an installation video on it and we also went through its architecture some eight days back and the response is awesome. People are loving it. We not only did the installation one, but also showed you how to do the fine tuning on it on your own data set. And both videos really garner a lot of responses from people. And as I have been going through social media, I really see that this model is really breaking the ice there. If you don't know what that model is, Florence 2 is an advanced vision foundation model that uses a prompt based approach to handle a wide range of vision and vision language tasks. Florence 2 can interpret simple text prompts to perform tasks like captioning, object detection and segmentation. In this video, I am going to install and run this Florence 2 model in your browser. Yes, that's correct. I just did another video where I show you how you can install transformer.js which is the pivotal component to run these large language models or vision models in your browser locally. So before, uh, if you are looking to implement this Florence 2, then I would highly, highly recommend first watch this video, transformer.js, and I will also um, drop the link to it towards the end of the video, which you can click and access. So first watch this transformer.js video, and then you should be able to follow along for this video. Transformer.js is a really amazing, amazing technology which lets you run these models in your browser. It is a JavaScript library, which is quite performant. And as I mentioned, just watch this video to get it installed and play around with it with its introduction. Now, let's go to my local system, which you can see on the screen. And then I will show you how you can run this Florence 2 model in your browser. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Best Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website. And also I'm going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So please do check them out. They are awesome. Okay, so let me take you to my terminal on the same system. You see that I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I am using one GPU card, which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Now, you don't have to use Ubuntu or any specific operating system. You can run it in um, Windows, Mac, wherever you can run Chrome because that is a browser I am going to use. And this is what I'm running in front of you, my Chrome browser. So. Before you do anything, there are two things which you need to set in Chrome. First up, just type following statement in your Chrome browser, where you just need to do Chrome flag enable unsafe GPU, press enter, and then make sure that this unsafe web GPU support is enabled. That thing, also if you are using Linux like me, you also have to enable one more thing, which let me paste here which is enable a Vulkan. So make sure, so let me press enter again. There you go. So Vulkan, make sure Vulkan is enabled. As long as you have these two things enabled, you are good to go. Let me make it a bit bigger. This is what I mean. So this Vulkan should be <coughs> enabled. So, and then enable both of these and relaunch or restart your um, Chrome browser. Restart means close it and open it again. So I am assuming now that you have done both. Now let's go to the terminal where we already have seen, but we have, let me clear the screen here. Now, first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have installed this, this transformer.js from its source. For that, you would need to git clone this branch from transformer.js because the latest Florence 2 model is not included in their main branch. So you have to clone this branch, which I already have done by this command. And once you are done, let's cd to that transformer.js. And then let me clear the screen. If you do ls, you will see there are a lot of examples there. So let me go to examples. And then here you will find the Florence 2.gpu. And here let me clear the screen. Now, 
first thing if you you would need to do is to do npm install and this is going to install all the prerequisites and dependency which are part of this project so i already have done it so i'm not going to do it again once you have done it just run npm run dev and it is going to start this project on your local host at port 5173 so let me go to my local browser here and you see that this is the browser which is running then just click on load model here and it is going to load the models that it takes a bit of a time so let's wait you can see that it is compiling the shaders and warming up that is done model is loaded let's click on drag and drop and select any images of your choice maybe i'll just go with this one and you can select the task caption ocr or maybe let's do the detail caption and then click on run model and you can so this is all browser if we haven't installed any server or anything there you go so it has very very perfectly done this now just click on this image to select any other image so maybe for example you want to so, see this bear and then again i'm just going to go with more detailed caption run model let's wait for it to come back there you go a brown bear is walking on the water there are rocks how good is that and it is even giving you the execution time here and then you can do a lot of other stuff there like caption to phrase grounding so just run it here and you can even give it the text and describe maybe i'm just doing dummy values for now just to show you what is happening these are the bounding boxes you can just say okay maybe uh bear then run model there you go so this is your where your bear is and then uh, if you want you can even do the object detection and then run model it is running it says label bear and then you can do with uh, caption or whatever you already have seen that and as you already know that florence 2 web uh, is really really good in ocr which you can also really readily do within your browser and now i have selected a ocr image so i'm just going to select the task ocr let's see how it works on ocr stuff let's wait for it to come back and you see that this image contains some uh, special characters alphanumeric characters and even some non-english ones so there you go amazing amazing stuff you see it's not perfect but still good enough it is running in our browser good stuff amazing stuff so if, what, what if i do the ocr with region so you can imagine how things are evolving that these are the models vision models which we are running on our gpu how good is that there you go so this is the ocr with region with all the coordinates and stuff so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you really like the video please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching